What's up team? So today we're gonna to talk about 10 signs that you are ready for marriage. 10 signs that you're ready for marriage. All right, so let's go over this really, really quickly. Okay, marriage is a big deal. You may have someone that you love or have someone that you're interested in, someone you're attracted to, someone that you know you really, really enjoy spending time with. So maybe you're courting and you've been with somebody for a while and you're ready to take your relationship to the next level. So we're gonna talk about 10 signs to know that you are ready to say I do. Sign number one is, can you see yourself without this person? Can you see yourself without this person? All right. So maybe you spend so much time with somebody, movies, late night conversations on the phone, just, you know, so much time with an individual. And it's just like, you're so bonded, you know, maybe you got uh, formed a bond with this person, you know, then you that's that might be a sign that hey i'm ready to say i do i'm ready to take this relationship to the next level i'm, re I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with this person so that's sign number one that you cannot see yourself without this person you know maybe they fit in all areas of your life and that is beautiful you know you want to have that person fit in in your life because if they didn't they're, they're not the one you know so for me, I knew Babe was the one, you know, because he fit in my life. I fit in his life, you know, his rib. So I fed in easily. All right. Number two. All right. Know why you want to get married. Why do you want to get married? Do you want to get married because, oh, I'm in my 40s and um, I just want to have sex or everybody around me on social media is getting married why do you want to get married are you doing it because everybody else doing it are you doing it because you know why you're doing it that's important so sit back before you make a major commitment because marriage is a vow before god just not when you get tired of dating somebody just you know throw them away or you know just block them you can't you can't do that in marriage why do you want to get married why do you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody so you got to know why. If you know why you want to get married, then you are ready to make this big commitment. You're ready. All right. Number three, know that you are planning a marriage and not a wedding. What do you mean? All right. So if you just want to get married just for the idea, I like the idea of a wedding. But you don't really for, per se like the idea of marriage. You're not ready. What do you mean? All right, we see in Hollywood and uh, these people that are famous, they spend thousands of dollars in this big old wedding, a beautiful dress that costs thousands of dollars, this cake, this venue, all this food. And then a year later, we read that they got divorced. Sad. Because let me tell you something. Marriage sometimes, you're going to go through some ups and downs, some ins and outs. You're going to bump heads. You're going to get in some arguments. You may get mad at your spouse, but you've got to stick it out. Amen. So if you just want to get married because, oh, it was just, it's been my dream forever to have a beautiful wedding. All right. A wedding lasts for maybe a few hours, but a marriage lasts for a lifetime. Okay. So be in, I, be in love. Be in love with the idea of marriage and not a wedding. All right. Let's talk about this, people. All right, number four, you know you're ready to get married because you know who you are. You know what you bring to the table. A lot of people, they 
don't know who they are in a relationship and they get lost it's like they have no opinion they just lose themselves you don't want to do that you bring something to the table you bring a, a piece of yourself you know to a relationship don't lose yourself we see this over and over again where people just get lost in a relationship uh you know they let their so let, let themselves go they stop doing their hair they stop putting on makeup they start they stop dressing up they don't have no goals no aspirations you know they put everything on hold everything on the back burner uh you know they they're they're it's like almost like they lose themselves no what about doing teamwork what about building together what about uh working on each other you know who know who you are do you have any life experiences you know what do you have to bring what do you have to offer if you know what you have to bring if you know what you have to offer if you know that you have some originality and that you won't get lost in a crowd that you won't get lost in your relationship then you ready you're ready and i'm not saying women you have to be dominant you know dominating i'm not saying that you know you can still bring something to the table I'm talking about talking to women now without being um out of order you know you can still be submissive and bring something to the table because you got to know who you are in your relationship so you won't get lost in the relationship like, are you a preacher? Are you a minister? Do you have a call in your life? Is the person that you're getting ready to marry, are they going to allow you to walk in that calling? Are they going to support you in that calling? Are they going to support you in that business? Are they going to support you? Are you going to support them, vice versa? All right. Number five. Is your relationship deep? Is it deep? Is it deep? What do you mean? All right, are you have y'all talked about deep things like each other's darkest secrets that nobody knows? You know, maybe they have an illness, maybe uh you know, they got some childhood pain, uh family dis dysfunction in their family. Uh have you seen the real them or have you seen this superficial side where they're just all googly eye and laughing and flirting? You know, I'm talking something deeper than that past that where you can talk about each other's fears and disappointments and just some deep conversations. If you can't have a real conversation, you know, with, you, with each other, you're not ready. You're not ready. All right. But if you, if you feel like, okay, this person is pouring out their heart to me, are you able to pour out their heart or each other's heart to one another? You're ready to take that, that big step. All right. Sign number six, do you know the person you're getting ready to be married to? Do you trust them? You know, and it's sad, like, um, I remember when I used to watch Lifetime, they used to have these crazy people getting ready to get married to someone they didn't even know, you know? Uh, and then it's all this evil stuff and bad stuff started happening again to these people. You know, they found out they're getting ready to marry a, a sociopath are a, a, a serial killer because they did not really know them do you know the person that you're getting ready to get married to can you can you track their past do you know where they went to high school at do you know where they went to middle school at do you know their family do you know their friends do you know what they do when they're not around you do you know them are you able to trust them Without sleep, worrying, up, worrying all night, tossing and turning in the, you know, your bed like I can't sleep, so, so uh, I don't know what they're doing. Without trying to hack their phones or their computers or emails, do you know the person? Are you able to trust them? If the answer is yes, then you are ready for marriage. All right, number seven. You know you're ready when you when you don't want to change the person, when you don't want to change them, but you just want to love them. When you don't want to change them, but you want to love them. See, I, I think of marriage like this. There's two people that are imperfect becoming one. You know, why do I say they're imperfect? Because they got their flaws. But they're becoming one. And you just want to love them. You want to show someone the love of God. You're not trying to change them. See, if you met somebody that was a size 16 
and immediately um, you try to, oh, I want to, I want him to be a size three or something, something crazy. You're not ready, you know, or vice versa. If you are a size 22 and this man, he making you eat all this salad and trying to make you get down to a size five, he's trying to change you. I mean, he should love you for all your curves and everything that you bring. All right. What about like he tried to change your whole wardrobe? He tried to change everything about you. Then you're not ready. They're not ready. All right. They should love you, your uniqueness, your curves, your flaws, your imperfections. Right. See, usually, the, you know what? One thing I do know is when you go to God about somebody and complain like, God, they do this, they do this. God will show you you. God will convict you and show you yourself. And sometimes, ooh, you might not like what you see, you know? And I, I can I can testify. I go to God about somebody and I'm like, God, they did this. And God will convict me. Well, you did the same thing last year. You did the same thing the other day. I'm like, ooh, you're right. And I have to repent. All right. All right. Number eight. Are you ready to resolve conflicts together? Are you able to work through it? Like I said before, marriage is ups and downs. It's hard sometimes. Sometimes you just want to ah scream at each other and just walk away. You know, when things get tough, are you able to stick it out? What happened if somebody gets sick? Somebody lose their job? You know, there's a death in the family. You know, there's no food in the house, no gas in the car. You know, or just something, something horrific are you willing to stick it out or are you just i'm out of here are you able to take this person by the hand and work through these conflicts together and, and go into prayer and are you ready for that are you ready to say okay babe we're, let's let's go on a fast let's see god about this we're going to get through this conflict i'm going to stand with you i'm going to stick with you I don't care what social media is trying to portray about you. I know the real you. I'm going to stick this out with you. Are you ready to work through these conflicts together? If you are, then you are ready. That's a sign that you are ready through, uh, ready for marriage. All right, number nine. Have you made long-term plans together? Have you made long-term plans together? Maybe you got business partners. Maybe, you know, y'all decided to uh, launch a project together. You know, just plans, long-term plans. You know, when you have long-term plans together or you can make long-term plans with somebody, that's a huge commitment. All right, that's a huge step. Right? Come on now. Are you able to make long-term plans with this individual? Or are they flaky? If you can make these plans together, like, okay, when we have kids, when we get married, our kids want to go to this school, or we're going to move to this state, or X, Y, Z. Come on now. Do you know what you want? Do y'all know what y'all want to do? Do you know what you're going to do in the next five years together, the next 10 years together, the next 20 years, or X, Y, Z? Are you able to make long-term plans with this individual? If you are, then you are ready for marriage. All right. Number 10, the last one. The last sign that you know that you are ready for marriage is, do your friends and family like the person? Do, do your friends and family like the individual? See, it's one thing to have opinions of others before you say, I do. That's why it's important. But after you say, I do, you know, you should shut up everybody out your relationship because the word of god says a man should leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife that means that anybody else you know it doesn't matter what they say about his wife then he should back her he should support her and don't let his mother father his brother sister in-laws dominate his relationship and her his marriage with his wife so this is the time that is critical right now and very important to get opinions of others but after marriage, it's not the time. After marriage, you are out of order. If you have everybody in your marriage, everybody in your relationship. But before you say, I do, if your friends, your family, your mentors, your pastors, 
people that are spiritual leaders in your life. They can take this individual to God. And God will show them something. Show them, you know, their heart, the person's heart. If they give you the okay. If they like him or her, then hey, it, it matters. But if they don't, if more than two people tell you something ain't right, there's a lust spirit on them. Um, I don't think you should make this because I, I can see uh, this ain't working out. It's not going to work out for you many years down the road. Oh, something ain't right. He, he's living a double lifestyle. But, you know, just something. Sometimes others around us can see things that we can't. Because I know sometimes we're so in love and love is blind and love covers a multitude of sins. And you might can see something, but you just don't want to lose this person. So you just overlook it. And then years down the road, it becomes an issue. Years down the road, it comes back up again. So does your friends, family, mentors, spiritual leaders in your life, do they approve of this person? If they do, you are ready. All right. So and what, one of the things about this right here, you know, don't overlook red flags. All right. Don't overlook red flags. All right. So let's just recap um, 10 signs that you know that you are ready for marriage. All right. Sign number one. You can't. you can't see yourself without this person. Number two, you know, you know why you want to get married. Number three, you're not planning a marriage, but you're not planning. Sign number three, you are planning a marriage, not a wedding. Sign number four, you have your own life and experiences. You know who you are. Number five, your relationship is deep. Number six, you know and trust each other. Number seven, you don't want to change your partner. Number eight, you resolve conflicts together. Number nine, you make long-term uh, plans together. And number 10, your friends, family, spiritual leaders, they like your partner. All right, you guys. This is...